Getting your AWS cloud cert in seven days sounds like bullshit, but it is very possible with just a bit of extra work and a lot more coffee for the week. In this video, I'll show you my exact study plan and resources for how I passed the AWS cloud practitioner in just seven days with a score of 850. If you're looking to quickly get certified, I'll walk you through the exact resources I used, my seven day study plan, and any tips to calm those nerves on exam day. I used three resources and three resources only. Based on these three, I structured my study plan into three different sections over seven days. You need something to learn the content, practice the exam questions, and review and reinforce the material. For the first two days, you'll focus on learning all the content of the exam. I use Stefan's Udemy course. It's simple, visual, hands-on, and covers every detail and AWS service you need to know. This course has a runtime of about 14 hours, give or take. So we're gonna split that in half and do seven hours of content each day for two days. If life gets in the way and you have something more important than your AWS exam, you can spread this over three days instead, doing four and a half hours of content per day. Steps one and two bleed together. So from days one to three, while watching the course content, you'll start reviewing Stefan's slides and making your own notes. Or you can dedicate all of day three to this if you can handle the grind. Here's my tip, play Stefan's course at a 2x speed and have a Google Doc on the right side. Copy the slides word for word, then add your own notes to reinforce what you've just watched. Yes, this sounds like hell, but it's effective. Some might think this is a dumb way to study, but trust me, it works. Copying notes actively engages your brain. So by rewriting and reorganizing information in your own words, you'll understand and retain that material a lot better. Plus, it makes recalling concepts during the exam a whole lot easier. By day four, you'll have finished all the content, completed the hands-on labs, and have a Google Doc. Hopefully, you'll have a bit of your sanity left too. From days four to six, you'll focus on drilling practice exams and reinforcing your knowledge. I use John Bonzo's Udemy practice exams to understand the logic behind AWS exam questions. John does a great job of explaining why an answer is correct or incorrect. I also use exam topics for drilling questions. This site is known for having questions that are identical to the ones on the real exam. So if you're lucky, you might see a familiar question on test day. Here's what your routine should look like. Dedicate one and a half to two hours at a time Pick 65 questions and complete them in one sitting. Afterwards, review only the questions you got wrong. This saves you time. If you got it right, just move on. If you got it wrong, learn why you got it wrong. Once you've gone through the practice exams, do them again. The second time around, you'll be faster, make fewer errors, and feel much more confident. By day seven, you'll be spending your time drilling questions, reviewing your notes, and reinforcing your weak areas. If your notes are well-written, you won't have any need to go back to Udemy at all. This is just the final stretch, so focus on tightening up your knowledge and building speed. And there you have it, you should be ready to ace the exam. If by the end of the week you still don't feel confident, take that extra time to review and practice. The exam is expensive and failing can be a financial setback for a lot of people. Don't rush if you're not ready. This exam shouldn't intimidate you, it's just fundamentals. If you're consistent, practice and stay confident, you'll have no issues passing. Good luck, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comments how your exam goes.